We have a new front runner for the best small town spotlight that we've been to so far. Roland Smoke Barbecue in Anthony, Texas, right here on Main Street in Anthony, Texas, and uh, it is fantastic. This is a pulled pork sandwich, potato salad, and their special mac and cheese has bacon inside of it as well. Just absolutely fantastic. Had a plate a couple of minutes ago. I'm going to set this down here as uh, we, we roll on here from Roland Smoke Barbecue. Again, Anthony, Texas, but as you know, it's Anthony, Texas slash New Mexico. The state line is right behind me, maybe a couple of miles, and Gadsden High School for Anthony, New Mexico is right there as well. Gadsden High School has had quite the run uh, the last couple of uh, weeks and years in the on the football field. Uh, they're the seven-time New Mexico State champions, and last season the Panthers made program history, getting back to the playoffs for the first time in 50 years. That accomplishment has led to a rejuvenated football spirit from the team and has given players more attention. Gadsden head coach Dino Fascio says winning has led to more student athletes on his team getting uh, skills to uh, uh, getting more opportunities, excuse me, to showcase their skills to college programs this year. Offensive tackle Victor Montiel and defensive tackle Nathaniel Lopez have been getting all types of looks from junior colleges to even Division I programs, New Mexico State and North Texas, to name a few. The prospect of playing college football at the next level is one that pumps excitement into the two soon-to-be seniors at Gadsden High. It feels good going that eighth grade year. I just joined football just to play football. Nothing, nothing special. And then senior year, now I'm getting college looks from schools that like from out of New Mexico, which is pretty cool. I'm just excited that that we're putting ourselves out there on the map. We hasn't been like this like for a long time. We putting ourselves out there and stuff. Feels amazing. They're big. They're big kids. I they, I really think they're Division One talent as well. So it's just someone taking a chance on them, really. Lopez and Montiala, just two uh, several attorneys on both sides of the football, seven on offense, seven on defense from last year's team that won a playoff game. And in speaking of, in 2022, Gadsden qualified for the playoffs for the first time since 1972 after a second place finish in District 3 5A. Once they got to the playoffs, Gadsden faced off with Los Alamos. They beat them 44 to 21. That was the Panthers' first playoff victory since 1966. After bowing out of the playoffs in the quarterfinal round, Coach Fascio looked back on last season and is now preparing for the next with the desire for even more success. I finally was able to sit back and reflect um, of how much it meant to this place. Um, Gadsden's a great school, so all the people of the community of Anthony and the small towns, they all came out. You've got more support, you got more kids out, brought a life to a community that's kind of been a little dead as far as football-wise. So I think Jerry Kill said it the other day about cautiously optimistic. That's kind of how I feel a little bit too. We feel really good about going into next year. We just got to make sure we're doing our part to, to make it go. Gadsden will look to build off that 5-7 and seven season. The Panthers will open up 2023 at home with a match against Ridoso on August 17th. Gadsden also well known for producing some fantastic soccer players, including some guys that currently play professionally. Memo Diaz is a Gadsden High alum who now plays as a midfielder for Oakland Roots in the USL Championship. After starting his pro career with El Paso Locomotive FC, he's been with Oakland Roots since 2021, has actually scored a goal this season for them. He graduated high school in 2014 and played college soccer at UNLV before turning pro. And 